This will be a description of the Quick Draw Weaving Program's Bound Weave Editor. In this particular case, I've got a reference pattern I'm going to look at here. Um, it's actually a project from Debbie Greenlaw's book on Crook Broad. So let me open the editor on that one. So if I look at the editor, that is a version of the pattern that I want to play with. So let me create a new window here and resize that, put it over here so I can see both windows for the moment. Because what I'm going to do is recreate that one real quickly. First thing I notice is it takes five chaffs. So I go back to the setup screen, add a shaft, delete two, and then go back into the bound wave edit review. Okay, so I've now got the shaft structure. I'll fill in the threading in a few minutes. First thing to notice is she has actually reversed the treadles so that the treadling sequence would bring in the two threads on the peak here in adjacent so they're, they line up better the next two so that they line up better. So let me zoom in with the mouse scroll wheel. I'm just going to drag that over. So I've now reversed the threadings, the tie up. I go in the treadling sequence. So now I click the first box, it automatically had fixed the next one. So that when I'm done, I actually have a valid bound wave tie-up. Um, it automatically changes things just to make sure you don't make a mistake because each thread needs to be in there once. When I'm done with that, okay, now next, let me change the threading. Okay, so that's one basic repeat of the pattern. Copy. I ask for the paste tool. Okay, so I've now got four repeats of the pattern. Scroll that down a little bit. Okay, I'm ready to start drawing. I'm going to need some more colors. So I go back, and let me just add those. And the other thing I'm going to need is a brown. Let me grab a brown from there. Add that. So I'm done with the color palette. Now, I've got the palette color here shows current weft color, which is what it will fill with. I give myself a large white block. So I now have a blank drawing screen to play with. First thing I'm going to need is those red spots across the top. They're on the points. They're there. The second spots are on shaft one. So I've got those guys set in. Now I'm going to need a green block. So I'm going to allow one row there. Add a bunch of green. And now first guy is going to need a red hat, similar to what we just did. So there's the first red hat. Second one is going to need brown. So there's his brown hat. There's the next part of his hat. Give him a hat too. Go back in. Doesn't matter which of these guys because it's recognizing and threading and selling them all in appropriately. There's the second guy's head. Both of them next. Now I'm going to need some brown. And so I need to fill in his shirt. Jacket, pants are the same color, couple of pant legs. Second guy needs a red shirt. And then he's got a brown brown waist and dark brown pants. Okay, and the tan guy. Okay, brown guy's pants should be one longer. And I'm going to need some white socks. Short socks here, long socks here. Too mu too greedy. Um, I can't hit the undo button uh, for the moment. Let me show what I usually do to correct. I go back in green and just delete the guys I added. Uh, okay, so I'm back to needing brown. Give these guys brown shoes. I'm now down to that point in the diagram. I need another... Oh, okay, first thing i got to do is get rid of the green. So let me go back to the white. Put the background to white. Give me some red. I could do a copy and paste, but let me just recreate these guys. I messed that up. They should have been backwards. But, you know what I mean. Um, first sunflowers underneath the guy in the brown pants. That should be a three by three sunflower. And I'm scrolling out a little bit. Let me give myself some more white template to deal with. There we go. 
and I'm going to switch in some green. First thing to do is count. Not clicking well today. Okay, so that's got the first sunflowers basically. Now, second sunflowers start just below the leaves of the first ones. Let me throw some more. Ding, ding, ding. So I've now got the second sunflowers. Biggest thing I need to do is put some seeds back in their heads. Hmm. Notice I actually put messed up and put too many rows in there. Actually, what I can do is just delete that row. Cut that, so I've now got a clean block. And it's back in with another row of the red boxes. Another separator, and then it'd be down into the houses and so forth. And I think we've demonstrated enough what we're doing there. Um, this point, I'm in the editor. I could save that it would return to that view. The other thing it also does is if I ask for a view finished, it will actually recognize a particular threading sequence for this version of FruitBroad and adjust the view so that it gives me a reasonable approximation. Uh, this is not as robust as the editor because it's looking for specific threading sequences. There's a handful in there and that will probably expand in the future, but that does give me an idea what the finished print fabric would look like. And that walks me through the bound weave editor. Thank you now. Bye.